Hi, this is Alicia Nielsen, and this is my Ceramics 2 final project. The first project we were assigned to do was the Mandala project, and right here is the sketch that I drew in preparation for my project. The next step of the project was the grainware, which you put under glaze and then wax and then over glaze on top of it. This is what my project looked after it was glazed and fired, and I feel as if my project was pretty successful, although <clears throat> my glazing didn't turn out as successful as I wanted it to, so if I had to rework the project, I would probably change how I glazed it and what colors I used. The next project that we did was the face project, and right here is the sketch that I drew for the project in preparation to create it. So this is what my face looked like after um, it was put into the kiln. And I was a little upset with the project already because all my hair had broken off. So this is the final product of my face project. And <clears throat> this is probably my least favorite project because of how the hair turned out and how the glazing turned out. If I would have to redo it, I would, <clears throat> I would have done all of the hair in one like clump together and I would have made my glazing a little bit more neat to make the face look a, bit, a lot better. So the next project that we did was the iPhone amplifier and right here is the greenware to my iPhone amplifier which I created to make it look like a frog. So this is the final product of my glazed iPhone amplifier and this would have to be one of my favorite projects because of how the glazing turned out, it all looked really neat and how the frog itself turned out, I think it looked really realistic and the, it still amplified my phone and worked even after it was glazed and fired. So the next project we did was the wheel project and we got two weeks to make a pot on the wheel. And right here is the greenware from my pot on the wheel. So here's the final product of my wheel project after it was glazed. And although it was one of my favorite projects to do, I feel like it wasn't one of my most successful projects because I was only able to create one pot on the wheel that was decent and then my glazing turned out all right I was hoping that the drip effect would look a little bit more realistic but it was a little bit faded right here is the greenware for my set of mugs project and this picture is of my greenware from one of my mugs which I created by using a sketch from a paper coffee mug so this is the final product of my glazed set of mugs and I feel as if this project was decently successful because I liked how the glazing turned out and how the pink contrasted the bluish green. But if I could change it, I think I would have smoothed the mugs out and made them a little bit more symmetrical before they became greenware. So the final project for the class and my favorite project in the class was the hyper-realistic project and right here was the greenware for the cake that I created. When I created the project, I started by layering a bunch of symmetrical triangles on top of each other. And in the thicker parts of the triangles, I poked holes to make it resemble that of a sponge cake. This is the final product of my glazed hyperlistic cake. And I made sure to make the pink and the yellow stand out against each other when I was glazing. And the purple flower on top darker than the other colors to make it stand out and I made sure to make the outside layers and inside layers of the cake look very smooth in contrast to the sponge of the inside of the cake. I used this picture that I found on the internet as kind of an inspiration for my project because of the, the yellow sponginess on the inside and the three layers of the smooth cream on the outside. The valuable lesson that I learned from this class is that patience is key when you're learning and trying something new. If I had advice for the next Ceramics 2 class, I would say to always try your best with every project, even if it doesn't turn out as well as you hoped.